Hi, this is Sharon. Welcome to the Thrill Collins documentary in America. He's going to America. Hey. Yay! Fans open. You can't see, but Andy's got his hand up as well. Another day, another dollar. So it's quarter to seven in the AM. It's five to eight in the AM. You guys are getting on a flight at half past nine. Me and Stefan are getting on a flight at 12. Next week. Next, next, <laughs> next Tuesday week. Um, so we, we got a little while to hunker down. Got to, had to change into this to go uh, half my class. And uh, Andrew had to change into this fine attire. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, yeah, so, so. Um, what's going to be the plan for when we get JFK? Because we've got to wait four hours for these chaps here. Uh, get some crispy creams. Put your head against my life, what do you hear? A million words just trying to make the love song of the year. Close your eyes, but don't forget what you have heard. A man who's trying to say three words, words that make me scared. Just uh, got in. Got into where? JFK Airport, New York, about an hour ago. Just took the sky train over to uh, Terminal 1. Have a first in America, first of many, I should imagine. Um, yeah, psyched, waiting for Stefan and Robbie to turn up and then the party will begin. A million love songs and later. Here I am trying to tell you that I care A million love songs later And here I am Oh here I am A million love songs later Here I am Hey Chris, what's up? Uh, I'm in Macy's, man. Um, it's huge, it's like the Harrods of, uh, Harrods of New York. Not very impressive. This is looking to change some dollar. There's some, uh, some English in dollar. And then uh, need to go to Dunkin' Donuts to get a donut. Mm -hmm. I need to buy a towel. And um, that's, that's the agenda of today, I think. Evening. Good evening. Hey, Dave. Very well, very well. Just yeah. Enjoying the uh, absolute ribbon. Yeah, it's ridiculously cool. Goodbye from Mondays, which looks like this. Only my hunger bothered me. And I felt it despite my nausea. I began to notice a shameless appetite again. A ravenous desire for food inside. It grew steadily worse and worse. What's wrong? Well, it's a good question. Um, we got to our first gig at Brooklyn this evening and uh, opened up the bass where she got on stage and uh, the neck has snapped right at the body at her point it joins the body. Luckily there was a very kind gentleman there who had a Fender Jazz so uh, I used that so we got to play which was the important thing but it's sort of annoying because now tomorrow we're going to spend it looking around for kit and trying to get me a new bass and oh, I just want to get to bed. What's that you've got there mate? Well, um, I've just been to David Gage's shop um, and... Nice. 
like a kid who's just received a 64 in uh, 1997. It's incredible, isn't it? Look at that. Andy? Yes? Uh, we've got two double bases now. Well, I say two. One and a half. One, One and, and two halves. Uh, what are we going to do? Well, it, now there's a lot more carrying duties going on. Who knows? In the meantime, you get that sweet piece of kit. Is um, this is a song written by the cast of Glee? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> According to every 14 year old in England, it is. Uh, it's by The Journeys. Yes. Uh, there's a generation of English kids who think it was written by Glee. <laughs> We're trying to educate them, but there's loads, and it's like, it takes a long time. But this is uh, called Don't Stop Believing. Chasing Amy. A singer in a smoky room, smell of wine and cheap perfume. For a smile, you can share the night. It goes on and on and on and on. All strangers waiting up and down the boulevard, their shadows searching in the night. Street light people. Living just to find emotion hiding somewhere in the night. Hey Rob. Hey. How's it going, man? Yeah, not bad. Uh, <laughs> you comfortable there? Yeah, I'm sat in a rolling living room, so yeah, I'm pretty comfy. <laughs> this, uh, this is our home for the next few days. We're just going to pop into Sears for a few bits and pieces. Can I to get my feel? Everybody wants a thrill. Paying anything to roll the dice just one more time. Some will win, some will lose. Some are born to sing the blues. Oh, the movie never ends. It goes on and on and on and on. Oh, strangers waiting. We're up and down the boulevard. Their shadows searching in the night. Street life, people. 
Living just to find emotion hiding somewhere in the night. Don't stop believing, hold on to the feeling. Street light people are oh, all. Oh. Don't stop believing, hold on to your feeling. Street light people are oh, all. Oh. Don't stop believing, hold on to the feeling. Street light people are oh, all. Oh. Don't stop believing. Hold on to your feeling, street light, people are wow. Hey, you alright, Andy? Yes. Hey, where are we? We're in Boston, baby. Uh, and then what are we doing? Um, we're just in the All Asia bar, and we've got half an hour to play, starting right now. <laughs> <laughs> Morning. Hi. How do we all do after our first night in the RV? Uh, good. We wish we'd known how cold Boston was at night. It was we rather cold. Up, we woke up at eight to put some money in the meter, um, and it's so cold. We put the heating on now. So tomorrow, uh, well tonight, we'll probably put the heating on when we go to bed because. I'm not saying I now know exactly how a homeless person in Boston feels, but... <laughs> Day three of the Southern Collins US tour. Was yesterday. Anyway. We can, we can, mute, that. We can, we, we can mute that out, right? <laughs> yeah. There's no room in this video for big brother impressions. Southern Collins. F***ing sake. I wonder what's out here. Let's have a look, shall we? Ah. Good morning, Boston. I don't normally do much commentary when it comes to our documentaries, but I need to just inform you that we've met the world's most benevolent Bostonian, Sharon, who's very kindly offered to be our tour guide for the day. She's going to make us Earl Grey tea and let us have showers. Yeah, man. I really need to wash the key area. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> 